You must be Josh. Hello, you must be Bruce. Mr Forsyth to you, sir. <laughs> Let's get that straight, OK? Now, we're going to do a, a little bit of a dance together, so, first of all, I think we'd better limber up, OK? Yes. Have a limber. Oh. oh. <laughs> you like that bit, didn't you? Uh, Bruce Lee was 80, so uh, BBC decided to do a TV programme celebrating his birthday. And uh, uh, his friends used to call him the Billy Elliot of his day. Josh Frederick, the boy star, growing up in a small town called Saltash in Cornwall, who'd have thought he would go on to perform the lead role of Billy Elliot in London's West End and make a name for himself so early in his acting career. But what we want to explore is how can a boy so young get back to the dizzy heights of a child star and how coming back to reality has affected the teenager and his dream of reaching those highs again. Um, would you say you were a star then? The only time I felt like a star is when I had 30 girls, school girls, running around me saying, can I have your crown? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I miss, I miss the people that I, I met there. Um, and the constant lifestyle, because I quite enjoyed that. But um, if I'm honest, the show I, I don't really miss because I did it so much and it was just such a routine for me at the end. Oh, so uh, just the uh, busyness, because I find when I'm here sometimes I'm just doing nothing and feel I'm wasting my time a little bit. But um, when I was up there, I was doing everything, like, well, all the time. So. From a young age, Josh knew that acting was his passion and he was thrown into the acting world at the age of 14 for his first major role as Billy Elliot. My mum basically signed me up for the audition without asking me whether I wanted to do it. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd watched the film, but uh, I wasn't like aware of it being a musical. Um, so basically, my mum took me took me out one day and said, "Right, oh, we're going for an audition." And I said, "What?" And Billy Elliot, and that's basically how I heard it. As Josh moved away from his home in Saltash, he went to London, where he was schooled and spent time rehearsing for the biggest performance of his life. Um, well, I was a little bit nervous, but uh, yeah, I was just excited at the same time. I suppose it's worth it, though, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Basically, when you're up there, was it, was it non-stop? Yeah, um, school wasn't really, you know, it was just, it wasn't really hard, but the rehearsals were two till ten with a couple breaks, so it was just constant. But How many shows a week did you do and things like that? Um, well, there, there's, there was at most five bullies at a time, so we rotated about two or three shows a week. Was, well, when I came back to start with, I kind of didn't really like talking about it because... I'd had it thrown at me so much over the last two years, I kind of wanted to come back and just be gone from it for a, a couple of weeks or months or whatever. Obviously, I was, I was happy to see my friends and I think they were happy to see me. And uh, It almost felt like I, I never really went away because I just fit a bit back in so smoothly. Was there any negatives, anything at all? Um, obviously, just missing my friends that I left. Um, and being back at full time school um, with my GCSEs like approaching um, I I did kind of want to just come back and settle down for a bit rather than just carrying on with someone else and just wanted to get out of the way because I've been I've been doing it for two years so I kind of just wanted to have a break just wanted to get away from it and I, I kind of made that clear as well the hardest problem for child actors or any actor is getting back to play major roles again after time out of doing the show. Josh has been through the daunting audition process to further his acting career many times since Billy and has yet to taste success. Um, I've, done a f I've done a few, um, but I've, I kind of want to get college out of the way first before I try anything else. How have those auditions gone? Um, uh, a lot of them have, have gone, well, I say a lot of them, there's only been a few. Um, They've gone pretty well, but being down this part of the country sort of doesn't help 
because uh, I had an audition in Manchester um, and they were saying how well it went and they rang, rang me up and said how, how much they loved me but uh, they went with a boy who lived in Manchester instead and I think that's due to me being all the way down here. So do you reckon that's stopping you then, living down yeah, here? Yeah, yeah definitely. Do you reckon you could be another like lead role in a big production again? Do you aim to? Yeah, that's the plan. Um, I kind of want to go in more into film and TV, really, like more acting wise. Um, so hopefully, start a film someday. Mm. I've got high hopes. Um, I think you've got to be to go into this profession because so many people do it and so many people fail. But yeah, I've got high hopes. Have you been rejected before, like since being at it? Like going to auditions, have you been rejected? Uh, yeah, um, like that one in Manchester. Um, uh, yeah, there's there's been a few which were a bit of a dodgy, dodgy audition, but yeah. How'd you deal with that? Um, it's, it's quite disappointing because uh, travelling, because there's no auditions down here. I love the the shortest I'll have to travel is London, and. Um, just even getting up there, just the expense of it is, is quite, it's quite a lot. So yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah. Uh, I'm at college now, studying drama, BTEC. Um, just, just finished a play called uh, Oh What A Lovely War. Um, currently uh, auditioning for drama school as well, which is hopefully where I want to go in from September. And where's our drama school? Uh, well, one's in Guildford, got an audition there in a couple of weeks, and central London as well. We caught up with Josh at his drama college in Plymouth to see whether or not he still had high hopes and the ambition to continue his acting career. Um, I, I enjoy it to a certain extent, but it, it's not the same as when I was in Billy, uh, because, because of the lifestyle really, just 24-7. Because it's only a part, it, well, it seems only part time course because it's only three days a week, but yeah, that's what, that's what I miss really. How do you feel about your current situation? In college? Yeah. Or with your acting career? How do you feel about it? Um, I've, I've been happy with what I've done so far, but I know there's, there's more from me. There's, I can do a lot more, you know, it's my goal to achieve more. What are you going to do if your acting career doesn't go to plan? Uh, no matter what anyone says, I, I will do it. It's, it's my goal and it will happen someday. So there's no backup plan then? Actually. No, definitely not. When's your next audition? Uh, it's this Saturday actually. I can't wait. What's it for? Uh, it's for a school called, Guilf called Guildford, which is in Guildford. Um, what do you want to be doing there? Um, well, it's an it's, uh, audition for the acting course. So I've basically just got to go up and uh, I've prepared a few speeches to do in front of the panel, so hopefully it goes well. Are you nervous? Yeah. As we were unable to go with Josh to London for his audition, we rang him moments after to see how he got on. Hello? You alright Josh? Um, how would your audition go? Um, I'm not sure mate, I didn't think it went great. Why, why is that? What happened? What did you uh, particularly have to do today? Uh, well, I had to do my speeches. On one of them, I, I messed up my line and I had to start again. Um. I'm pretty dark myself, really. Um, well, I'll just have to go back to everyday life, really, and uh, just try again next year. Cheers for that. Alright, cheers. See you later on. Good luck. With Josh seemingly failing to make an impression, how much will this dent his confidence and his future? So how important is acting to you? It's, it's everything, honestly. I eat, sleep, you know, it's just me really. It's what I know. So does going to auditions, um, like maybe being rejected in an audition, does that, like, does that hurt you because it's obviously your life? Uh, yeah, um, no one likes rejection. Um, but I know that if I just work hard again and just keep going back next year or the year after, when when it does happen, I'll, I'll know I've made it. How do you deal with the rejection? Um, I might, you know, 
and be a bit quiet for a couple of days. But. If there was a worst case scenario and you weren't able to meet the heights of Billy Elliot again, how would you feel? Um, well, I'd be gutted. Uh, I mean, because I don't only want to get as, as good as that again, I want to get better. If you felt you were reaching the end of your acting career, would you be happy with what you've achieved so far? Uh, again, I want to just keep going until, until I die, really. Just nothing's ever enough. So it seems that maybe this isn't the end for Josh and his acting career. Rejection is a bitter pill to swallow, but with determination and his belief, don't rule out seeing Josh Frederick's name in lights in the future.